Mr. Survive in the Wilds. Um, guys, today I will be showing you my complete bug out system. Um, what I'll be taking with me in a bug out situation. And we're just going to go through all of that and this entire pack. So let's get started. First off, for clothing, um, most likely I'll be wearing either these pants or these pants just because they're comfortable, tactical, a lot of pockets, a lot of area to put stuff. Um, always, always, always on my person, I have a parkour bracelet with a with a rescue whistle. Really loud, if I actually want to say it. I have my Kershaw Thermit, always on me. The parkour lanyard on it. Um, that's normal. About, I usually have a wallet on me, but I don't have that with me right now. For uh, footwear, it's either going to be between uh, my Carhartt Butcher, Butcher or something like that. They're work boots, waterproof, and they're pretty nice. I got them for like 120 bucks or something like that. Um, so yeah, or it was between these with my dad old paramedic boots. Um, when he was a paramedic, these were his boots that we he wear on paramedic calls. And they've seen some wear, but they're pretty nice. I'm probably gonna get some um, other tactical boots for Christmas, so I'll probably switch those out for these. But these work well for now. Um, always. I have my Camelback for holds. I don't remember how much water this holds. It's ridiculous. It holds, it holds a ton of water. Um, arrows, because I have my sling bow. Um, for a rifle, which is not much, it's just a Gamma Hornet pellet rifle. I have like 200, or no, 1000 FPS, which is decent. It's good enough for squirrels and rabbits. I just put wrapped it in camo tarping and put a, a homemade strap on it so it's easier to carry and it fits underneath this flap so that's why I'd be carrying it if I didn't want it in my hands okay and for the pack here I have my stepdad's old um, backpacking backpack he took this from the canyon multiple times um, as you can tell there's these are his patches and then these new patches are mine. I had sewed an American flag on there by myself. I learned how to do it. Um, so let's break into the pack. On the outside, I have my um, Broker's Survival Kit 32 ounce water bottle. I drink, I'm in wrestling now, so I drink about two of these a day, which is a half gallon, just to stay hydrated. But I always keep that with me. I don't know why the spoons are here. Um, here is a Sierra Designs sleeping pad, super warm, super, um, like, good for ground cover, I mean, you want a tarp or a piece of plastic down, but it keeps you off the ground really nicely. And, um, on the outside, it's going on the outside, it's got a pair of bracelet, a uh, mini carabiner for some reason, I don't know why. And then on this side, I don't, I'm not keeping my axe here, but, um, I have my SOG seal pulp knife, so it's just a quick release, if I have to get to it real quick, it just pops right out of there, so I can just slide, pull that down if I need to get to it real quick, say something, I don't know, like, a bad guy, let's say, comes up behind me and I don't have time to reach out of my boot to grab my boot knife out, I have this right here to pull out, so that's that, start the top hatch up here, or flap up here. I keep a number of things, actually I keep a lot of things up here, um, to go along with this hatchet, which I just put together, but I don't really like the handle, so I'm probably going to do a new handle, and I'll show you guys how to do that. Um, I have a mini hatchet, which is like a kid's hatchet, but it's really good for doing some small stuff. I also need to put a new handle on this. I mean, it's okay for now, I just, just got some chips in it and stuff, I just want to redo it. always have my um, buck. 180 special. This is usually be on me, just for the video cause I didn't have it on. So those are my cutting tools just for right now. Um, have some emergency water packets, pretty handy. Some small hank of paracord. I have another hank of paracord, but I lent it AJ to do some stuff. Um, here's a like kind of like a hygiene kit. It's got some soap and stuff. Um, random cereal bar. Don't even know why I have that. Um, rain poncho with a sewing kit in the back. I just got some OD green sewing stuff just to maybe if I want to like like a, say like a seam ripped or something I could do some small sewing work 
which I'm getting pretty good at, so another random cereal bar. Okay, let's break into the, the full size pack. This is quite a large pack, as I said, this is used for backpacking in the Grand Canyon, which as you can tell it's quite a difficult task. I know my stepdad the group is called the Balding Eagles or something like that. And um, they had a marine they have a marine in their group and he is a former Marine. He just got he went on the trip uh, two weeks after he got out of the Marines and it kicked his butt so you can know how big the um, how difficult the canyon is. Freaking random stuff. Okay. Here we go. Starting on the stuff. First off, I have a gun cleaning kit. This is to wipe down the outside of my gun. I have some arm oil and then a sheep sheep wool, which is just really good for scrubbing down stuff. I have um, my Daisy Powerline slingshot. Um, I don't have my Dave Canterbury uh, sling bow in here right now, just because I'm still tweaking things on that, I'm trying to get exactly what I want before I put it in here. Um, I have a, a saw, a folding saw. Which it's not even mine, that's Evan, but it's very good here because we needed it one day out in the camp. Um, the hydration pouch, which normally would be for my other hydration. Normally, I have this, which has the military canteen cup in it. I just don't want to take it out because it takes forever to put it back in. So I have that water bottle, the canteen cup, and then also I have this water bottle, which I put directly in the fire, along with, if I can get it out. A GSI nesting cup, which it doesn't fit well in here, obviously. So I'll probably upgrade the bottle to an Algene still or stainless steel water bottle. I can't find them; They're, it's like gone off the face of the earth for some reason. Um, cooking, you guys have seen this before. This is my MSR Seagull pot. Um, this is more of my fire kit stuff, but I do have some food in here. Um, Here's a small fire kit, it's just got some cotton balls in it and a lighter in there. Some um, hand spray, or some, like, I don't know, Purell spray. Um, fire seam rod. I just got, like, a duct tape thing for it so it wouldn't chip and stuff. Um, earplugs. Always use earplugs, especially when I'm sleeping. The wood's are really noisy at night, I put earplugs in. But, um, we're back. Um, then I have a small mate tool, just to get things out, in and out of the fire. It's good for taking off the lid, slide in like that. Just handy to have around. Have a uh, small pocket knife. It's got a ton of stuff on here. It's got a screwdriver, saw, corkscrew knife, a ton, ton of stuff. Um, box of matches. Then I have some oatmeal patches, packets. I have four of them. So there's four mornings of food, I'd say. Um, then I have my ultimate fire stuff. This is, I don't know. Mostly girls would know about this. It's like stuff to clean your face. I don't know. It's just pure cotton in it. It's absolutely amazing for starting fires. Me and AJ just went out in the woods last weekend and had a uh, day out there. And I used one of those and I got the fire going in a matter of two minutes. So that's it. For my other food, I stole these out of the cupboard just to throw in here. Just have four cans of. Cream of chicken. Don't even know what that is, but it's food. Expiration date is for 2016, so I'll probably use these by then, and I'll just replace them. But I wanted to have at least four days of food in here, so I have four breakfasts and four dinner slash lunches in here. Plus, I have means of getting more food along with my slingshot and my pellet rifle. So mainly, I'm set on food and water. Um, for sleeping, for my, uh, thing I would like to have most is my hammock bliss hammock. You guys have seen this in my new survival items from Christmas, um, which we're getting close to Christmas now, so we'll have another video of that stuff. So, use this a ton over the summer, use a ton over the winter, slept out probably 30, 40 plus nights in this hammock, sub-zero weather, just, I enjoy getting that, I'm weird. Um, I have a small camo netting just to throw over my pack. Say I want to conceal it from, I'm mean, bugged out and I want to conceal it from other people. Just throw that over there. Um, next I have this pouch. This pouch contains quite a bit of fun stuff. Um, see I have an extra hat. 
every video I have, I'm always in a hat. I'm sure you guys have noticed that. I'm going anywhere without a hat. And I have a, a Mylar Space Blanket sleeping bag. Just in case um, my sleeping bag in here isn't sufficient enough, which it always should be. And then I have some um, char cloth, I think. Yeah, I just ripped up a t-shirt, cotton t-shirt, put that in there. More of that handspray stuff, extra cereal bar, just random stuff. Ex another extra box of matches. And then I have this really, really cool radio. It's, um, it's a flashlight and radio mix. It's crank, and it's also solar powered. And you also can put batteries in it. So there's three means of um, of charging this. Um, it's a radio and a light. Radio works really well. Um, let me get it charged up here. Well, you get the idea. Um, but yeah, just check weather stations, check emergency stations. Whatever is needed, I have that. In here, I have... God, I don't even remember what I have in here. Um, nails and a signaling mirror. Random stuff. But you never know when you're going to need that. In here, I have a, a fishing kit. Some line. Normally, I'll bug out with my mini bug out um, fishing rod that I put together over the summer. I just took a regular fishing rod, chopped it off, and made it into like a, a bug out one. Um, I have some hooks, a little... Hanging here, some other stuff. Here I have a flashlight. It takes triple S. Um, then, last but not least, I have another light tool. Gerber suspension. God, I have a lot of stuff. And this actually pack does not weigh a whole lot. You'd be surprised. You'd think all this crap weighs a lot, but it doesn't. Last but not least, my my hardware. Pine hole, 20 degree sleeping bag. Um, use this for, I think it's going on two years now. Um, haven't outgrown it yet. Love this sleeping bag. I've been out, like I said, sub zero weather. All I need is an extra um, Mylar space blanket on top, toasty warm. My sleeping bag, or in my hammock with this sleeping bag. I've slept out many of nights. And also, I have back there is my um, army issue uh, sleeping bag which is, uh, I believe, is that one is a zero degree bag. Oh, looks like I have a few extra random things in here. Oh, God, I've been looking at this thing, for, this thing forever. This is um, my broker fixed blade knife. God, I love this thing. Um, it's great for, like, a little boot knife, and it's so concealable. Say if I put this on my belt, you can't see it at all. Like, if you're just walking by me, you can't tell that I have a fixed blade on me. So, yeah. Man, I've been looking at this since I went camping two months ago. <laughs> I couldn't find it. It was at the bottom of my pack. Okay. So, that is actually one of my favorite new items. Um, oh. And here's a little a Daisy Powerline shot, but I ran out of shot, so I got some fairly round rocks and put it in here, and they work just as well um, as the regular shot. And they're free, and all I have to do is go out in the backyard and scoop them up, put them in here, and have ammunition for a month or two while I'm doing target practicing and stuff. And they're free, so I can always just pick them off the ground and put them in here, and that's just a nice little container to keep them in. And that's it, guys, I think. Here's some random socks. I don't know when you need extra socks. <laughs> so, um, thank you guys, I'm Christopher Sob in the Wilds. Um, stay tuned to see AJ's.